Hello everyone and welcome to another weekend vlog. Today is Friday, June 2nd. I've been trying to be as productive as possible this morning. I made it to the gym this morning, did a leg workout. What I perceive to be my hip, my right hip was really bothering me this morning. So it kind of took a little bit for me to convince myself to go to the gym, but it wasn't like super painful and I don't recommend in general that anybody trying to work through what they perceive to be some sort of injury, but sometimes I'll struggle with a little bit of pain from what I perceive to be my ball and socket joint um, in either hip. What I would assume would be popping out of place, uh, <laughs> but not like entirely, but just maybe it kind of gets a little bit just out of place or something. I don't even know if that's a thing. If anybody out there that happens to be watching this video works in orthopedics, let me know if that's actually a thing. Like, can, can your ball and socket joint in your hip become like dislodged a little bit without completely dislocating it? I don't know. But I do remember on my left hip when I did gymnastics as a kid, I had troubles with that joint and uh, one of the parents was a physical therapist and like popped it back into place for me. It was so bad at one point that um, I remember doing a floor routine. I couldn't get my splits all the way down. Like that's literally how bad it was. It would affect my ability to uh, step up onto things and then like lift myself like up onto a step or something like that. I remember that being a thing. It's on the right side this time. And the reason I'm wondering if it's like something with my lower spine or something is because it's not where it was on the other side. So let me show you. So back in the day, like the pain was like down here, like under my butt. I've been having issues on this side, but like up here, like almost like right in here, which makes me think it's not that joint? I don't know. So anyway, long story short, I was having that pain this morning and I thought maybe I did like some, I did a push day at the gym yesterday. So I did like mostly shoulders and triceps. So I thought maybe when I was warming up or stretching or something that I like twisted weird. Cause I was aching a little bit last night and it was a little worse this morning. And in the past, if I've just gone to the gym and did a little something, it would help. So that's what I did this morning. I said, okay, I'll go to the gym. I'll do leg day, uh, but I won't push it. So I won't lift as heavy as I normally do and I won't push my weight. I feel like it worked pretty well. It actually feels a lot better now. And I didn't have any pain at all in any of the movements that I was doing, which makes me think it's not my hip joint. <laughs> So maybe it was just that I twisted a little weird or something yesterday. Moral of the story is I went to the gym. Side note, taking it a little lighter today helped me focus on my form like so much. And I actually quite enjoyed it today. I'm thinking I'll incorporate a, like a lighter leg day into my, I currently do two leg days. So I'm thinking maybe one of them will be a lighter leg day each week instead of just trying to push the weight both days each week. And interestingly, I was able to get most of the workout that uh, I did this morning on video. It's a lot easier to go to the gym uh, and hide in a corner, uh, which is where the squat racks are. <laughs> Though I think I didn't get on cameras. I did some cable pull throughs on the cable machine and the cable machine at that gym is always a zoo because there's only one of them. And so is like the freeway area, which is why I rarely ever get any like upper body because <laughs> um, I just use dumbbells and the cable machine for my upper body days, I feel like. So it's kind of hard for me to get footage of stuff other than leg day because the gym that I go to actually has two locations. I go to the smaller location and the location I go to is significantly smaller than the location on the other side of town. And I just go to the smaller one because it's closer to where I live, but I'll go to the bigger one if I ever want to swim or anything afterwards because it has a pool at it. And obviously at that location, there's more cable machines and a lot more room in the freeway area. So maybe I'll start going there if I really want to start capturing my workouts more, but it's kind of nice to capture your workouts on video because then you can really see your form <laughs> and critique your own form. So anyway, I feel like I've been rambling about the gym. I got home, took a shower, put on some makeup, did my hair. I'm currently editing video from last week. David started his new shift this week. So he currently does like 5.30 in the morning. I think it's like 5.30 to 3.30 or his normally scheduled hours. He's actually headed back from his route right now. So he should be home within the hour, I would assume. 
Um, so he'll get off a little early today. I'm currently waiting for Amanda, my sister, to come pick me up. Us, our cousin, and some of her girlfriends, we're gonna go get manicures and pedicures just to hang out and spend time since she's finally back from Alabama. Currently just waiting for her to pick me up and then we will head out to the nail salon. So I just got back uh, from getting my nails done. We ended up going out to dinner um, afterwards. So it's a few hours later. Let me show you what I got. So I got manicure and pedicure today. So I got some red, like some scarlet red on my toes there. And then I got some mint green on my fingernails. I had done mint green before in the past and really enjoyed it. So I thought I'd give it a try again. Not sure how I feel about it. I don't know if it complements my complexion very well, but it's summertime, so I figured it'd give a fun summery color a try. It's the first of the month, so I watered my succulents yesterday. I wanted to show you guys my succulents. So I've got this little guy that I've been taking care of, and this little guy um, as well. Oh shoot. Um, there's some water that is collected in the bottom of these. And then I put them in um, like more of a cactus, like a, like a soil that's meant for like ca cactuses and succulents. I think it like has more draining qualities to it. Correct me if I'm wrong. They're feeling pretty good. Not too soggy or anything. And I feel like since I've repotted them into these pots, they've grown quite a bit. So I'll have to keep you guys updated on how these guys are doing because I'm determined to keep these alive because I actually got both of these succulents from my grandfather's um, urn ring at his memorial service. So I think they're both looking pretty good. You'll have to let me know how they look. Cause I'm not, I don't necessarily have the greatest green thumb or much of a green thumb at all for that matter. And I read online that you're only supposed to water them like once a month. But then it also said sometimes in the summer do, to do it like every two weeks. I've only had these guys two months and they seem to be doing well. I'm also super interested in like maybe growing some herbs or something. I heard there's like some kind of like countertop like gardens you can get that have like their own little lights and everything. I wonder if these succulents would appreciate that a little more. I put them in my window in an attempt to get them some sunshine too, but I don't know. So I'll probably go put them in the window for when the sun does come out. It was super rainy and dreary again today. I guess that's just how the weekends are gonna be. Hopefully it'll clear up tomorrow. Maybe we'll, maybe David and I will get out and do something. He's currently home. It's like eight o'clock at night right now. So we'll probably head to bed here in an hour or so. We're currently watching Jersey Shore Family Vacation. So we'll probably just crawl in bed, watch that for the night. I think that's our plan. So just gonna hang out with David tonight because I haven't seen him all day. I ended up leaving before he even got back from work uh, for the nail salon. So I will see you guys tomorrow. and I are gonna head out and get some 
lunch. There's a burger place here in town um, that both of us haven't been to in a while, so we're gonna go see what they've got going on recently, and I will show you guys what we get. another simple weekend for us. I've been editing a lot today because believe it or not I have not edited our first weekend vlog yet and it is the weekend after Memorial Day so I have two weekend vlogs that I'm behind on and if I wait any longer it'll be three. So I've been editing today. I got a lot of footage that first weekend. I have no idea how long that video is going to end up being. It's going to end up being long though. Additionally that also makes me feel better about how much footage I got over Memorial Day because I was worried I didn't get enough. I've been editing. David has uh, been being an awesome boyfriend and he's been cleaning the apartment for us. I just got a phone call from my dad. He has a barbecuer in the back of his truck from up at the lake that he he needs help getting it out of the back of his truck. So we're gonna go help him get that out of the back of his truck. I might talk David into stopping at Starbucks so I can get a dirty chai. Unless I have ingredients for it here. Do I have stuff for it here? Oh, what do you need? Uh, I might laugh but vanilla dirty chai. Do I have chai in the fridge too? Do I have milk? Oh yeah. my god, I do have milk. You got stuff for a chai here. I have stuff for a dirty chai. And the stuff I make in my Nespresso is way better than Starbucks anyway. So, yes. Yes, let's make a dirty chai. Do you guys want to see how I make a dirty chai? So let me show you how I make a dirty chai. We went to that burger restaurant because I hadn't been there in so long and I had heard about this. I ended up getting their PB&J burger because I heard it was good and it was very good. Their fries were also interesting. They have like shoestring fries and I really appreciated that. It was really good, but I ended up getting cheese fries and David got some bacon cheese fries. You don't like the cheese? It's like Velveeta. They have government cheese. Is that like a derogatory thing? Should I not say that? I mean, it was Velveeta cheese with block cheese. It essentially was. It was like glorified Velveeta, but I was into it. I feel like we should go there more when we want a burger because I think that's the best burger in town that I've had. What kind of burger did you get, David? What was it called? Ranch spicy burger or something. Like David got some kind of a spicy burger. It had like how, what did it have on it? Jalapenos, spicy mayo, uh, pepper jack cheese. Oh yeah, pepper jack. Yeah, so like all the spicy things, jalapenos, pepper, jack cheese, and they have like a sriracha mayo there that they put on it. So it was very good. And I have some leftovers because I am not over eating a leftover hamburger. I'll flip and eat that. We should get going. Are you ready? Yep. Let me make my dirty chai. Here's our bruised bananas that we need to eat. Okay, so let's get all the crap out of the way. Let me make sure my countertops are clean because uh they are. it looks it feels a little crusty um because every time i do one of these i watch the footage back and i realize that my flipping countertops are dirty so i will be using my espresso machine for this i'll typically just do a double shot of espresso which is actually just what i purchase through espresso is just mainly the double shots i probably should do some double shots and singles because these cups that i have here are ventis so if i ever just want a regular latte i have to always technically add an extra shot because the ventis come with three shots of espresso a grande comes with two for the dirty chais i'll typically just do a double shot with it so i'm going to use the Bianco Doppio double shot. One of my favorite flavors of these pods. They actually have some seasonal ones that seem interesting, so I should really pick those up. But what I'll do, I will go ahead and throw this in my Nespresso and then let that brew. So next I'll grab my, grab my cup. Um, so just, I have these little Starbucks cups that I use. I'll shake up my chai here 
This is just the kind of chai that I get. This stuff is already sweet. If I'm adding something to it, I won't add much. There's already vanilla in this, it says, but I think I want to add a little bit of vanilla to this. But I'll just take some vanilla syrup and add it to the bottom of my cup. And I just do like a little, just like a little splash just to cover the bottom, essentially. And then I'll take my chai mix and I put it in here. I really just eyeball this. I make it so that my chai and espresso mixture comes up to like this bottom line here. Uh, so let me put my espresso in here since it's done brewing. And the important thing that I always do with my espresso back here as soon as I'm done with my pod, I open this and then immediately close it so that the pod drops back into the collection receptacle and I don't have a dirty pod sitting in my coffee machine. So I'll put my double shot in here and then that is actually about right. We're not quite there so I'll add just another little splash of chai to the cup here. Perfect. Okay, so we'll give her a little swish here, mix everything up. The next is just some milk. I fill this to the top line here, maybe sometimes a little above. All we have to do after that is just fill the cup to the top with ice. So I'll grab my blue lid here, grab one of the straws, break up my ice a little bit, and then there we go. That is my dirty chai all ready to go. Oh yes, that's delicious. Oh my gosh. I have a bad habit of leaving cabinet doors open. Oops. Hi, baby. You're the old lady. You're the old lady. There you go. You eating the grass? Why are you eating the grass? Well, that was quick and easy. We got to say hello to the puppies and then helped dad unload the grill. I think we're gonna head to the gym before it closes. I convinced David to go to the gym because we, again, will not be in town next weekend. We'll be going to North Dakota next weekend, so we'll go to the gym. We'll drive by, let's look and see how busy it is, and you can bring your camera. Oh no, I always just film on my phone in the gym. I actually filmed, I told them, I actually got most of my workout on film yesterday. There was only one thing that I did on the cable machine that I didn't get. I have an upper body day today and it's also my cardio day as well. We drove by the gym on the way back over to the apartment and it looks not very busy. So we're gonna go to the smaller one. But I'm doing like just like a uh, full upper body day and then some cardio today. So I'll just do like 20 minutes of an incline walk on the treadmill. So off to the gym we go.
on black. Five on black. We're done at the gym. Um, I was filming my time lapse doing cardio. And when I take videos, the music doesn't play through my headphones. So I was doing cardio on the treadmill and then I heard the woman downstairs come over to the intercom and say, uh, the gym closing in 15 minutes. And I still had like all of my cardio left to do. So I usually do 20 minutes. I'll probably end up adding maybe 10, 15 minutes of cardio onto my next, uh, oh, there's something going on at the fairgrounds. That's what said. Is there a rodeo today? It said there was a swap meet. It didn't say anything about a rodeo. Oh, a swap meet. So I'll probably end up adding 10, 15 minutes of cardio onto like my next upper body day. My next upper body day is a pole day. So my next pole day, I'll probably just end up doing a little bit of cardio at the end of it. And then I obviously didn't get to stretch today. I might stretch when I go home, I might not. <laughs> We're here at Five on Black. We're gonna get some Brazilian, Brazilian food and probably go home and eat it. Okay, so we're gonna go in here and get some food and then head back home. All right, so we are back from the gym and five on black. This hat will stay on because my hair looks horrible right now. But let me show you what I got. With each bowl, you have the option to get one of these cheese buns. These things are quite interesting. They remind me of mochi almost. They're really chewy. And then this is the bowl I got here. It's on a base of brown rice and spring mix. For the protein, I have some chicken in here. Usually for this side, I'll get sweet potatoes, but I am desperately low on protein today. Uh, I guarantee you I under ate today. So instead of the sweet potatoes, I got some black beans. The sauce on top is a mango barbecue sauce. And I just like to have some lime wedges on the side to squeeze over the top. I also got one of their fountain beverages. I think the brand is like Tractor Soda or something like that is what it's called. So what this is, this is a blood orange fountain drink. So most likely what we'll do, we'll eat dinner turn on our Jersey Shore family vacation and watch it. And I will probably spend the rest of this evening editing. So I will probably end today here. I got a call from the church tonight that apparently they had me scheduled to do the walking camera again this weekend. I did not look in services this week and also didn't notice that I had gotten an email. So, uh, oops. So I wasn't able to serve tonight, but I will be serving in the morning. I'm, I'm gonna be doing the walking camera again, so I don't know. That 10 o'clock service just gets so jam-packed that I barely have room for myself and my camera, let alone trying to take even my phone out to try to get a little bit of footage, but who knows? Who knows? Because I got every single shot at the gym that I needed today. I was super proud of myself. There was, at one point, I was over at the bench doing chest presses and this guy walked over like super close to my phone and it's pretty obvious that I'm filming on my phone I think at least maybe I'm just too self-conscious this guy walked over super close to my phone and I don't know if I caught it on my phone and I was mortified I was super embarrassed because I just I don't want to be I don't want to be in the gym and in anybody's way, you know? I'm just kind of like that kind of person. I'm just always worried I'm such a burden to other people. Thanks for watching today, you guys. I hope I have at least a little bit of good content for you guys. Uh, and I will see you guys tomorrow. We're looking for... We're looking for a gift for my cousins daughter. She's turning two. I don't know what to get a two-year-old. I couldn't decide on anything, so I'll come back later this week. We've made our way to the outdoor section, and David's looking at... What is that? Oh, it's a black stone. It's a grill? Oh. I'm trying to be a vlogger. <laughs> I was thinking maybe I could get her a book. I don't know 
know what book to get her though. She can't read. So her mom and dad. What's that, honey? I want to buy an Xbox game. What Xbox game do you want to buy? Grand Theft Auto 5. It's 20 bucks. Go for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's fine. Why do you need my permission to do that? It's, your Xbox. it's our Xbox. I wonder if they have like some cardboard books around here. Let me see. They've got it, right? Oh, here we go. Now we're in business. I think I'm going to get her this one. This one's... Oh. These are like all the books from my childhood. That one's a good one too. These are like all the books from my childhood. Oh, this one's interactive too. Okay, what should I get? It's between these two. That one? Okay. Okay. Now we're on the hunt for a banana holder. Banana holder. Man, they're rocking out over there. You don't, you see anything? I'm like obsessed with these, I call them blades. I'm obsessed with those. I some white ones. White one. I kinda like this one. Four dollars. Nothing over here, huh? That's a mug holder. Well, we'll have to order some then. Look at this little pitcher. Look at this pitcher. What do you think? Yeah. Let's go get some candles. Okay. I like it. I kind of like this one too. Yep. You want to get this one? Sure. We're going to go with this one. Mango coconut. Target was hopping today. I conquered another fear and I filmed in public. <laughs> it probably wasn't the greatest filming, but I feel accomplished, don't you? Yeah. So I went and ran camera this morning. David is very sweet and he's going to cook me dinner tonight. I, well, I gotta eat too. He's gonna cook us dinner tonight. <laughs> uh, you um, made it sound better the first time. We're gonna go to Albertsons real quick, pick up a, f a couple things. And then we'll hopefully muster up the discipline to go to the gym today. <laughs> I'm back from the gym. David is over there cooking us dinner currently. So I bought some stuff to make. 
chocolate covered strawberries so I want to make some chocolate covered strawberries tonight. So I think I'm gonna go impede David's space and make those. So I might clean up and change real quick and then I'm gonna come back out here and make those chocolate covered strawberries. So I'm gonna boil some water and then do the little, little um, double boiler action. So into this bowl I got these. So I got the Gardelli 60% cacao, the bittersweet chocolate chips. As you can see, my water's boiling, so I'm gonna put my bowl over that, and we will just stir the chocolate and let it melt. Oh yeah, look at it, it's already going. It's already going. Okay, that literally took like three minutes, and uh, the chocolate is nice and smooth. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn off the heat, but keep the chocolate over the water, just so that I guess it won't harden too soon, I guess. Here's the awesome looking dinner that David made for us. Um, but he so nicely lined a baking sheet with some parchment paper for me. So we'll coat the strawberries, move them over to the parchment paper, and yeah, we'll be done with it and we'll eat some dinner and then we'll have some strawberries tonight. Before I start off for the night, I thought we'd try some of the strawberries. And David's gonna try one with me and tell me what he thinks. That's what mine looks like. That's what David's looks like. Cheers. Very good. Mm -hmm. Did a good job. Mm -hmm. They're really good. That'll definitely satisfy a sweet tooth and that was probably one of the e easiest desserts that I've made. I think we'll sign off from here. It's about eight o'clock at night. David and I'll get ready for bed here and then get ready for the week next week. We do have another weekend trip next week. We're headed over to Jamestown next week with the family. Uh, we have some extended family coming as well. So it should have some footage from that trip for you guys but it will be another trip just kind of full disclosure it will be another trip that i'm just spending time with my family uh we are going out there for a ceremony for my grandfather that uh, we lost him in april and it was a little too cold in north dakota to go lay him to rest with my grandmother so it is a trip that is the purpose of that trip not saying there won't be lots of experiences and things to show you guys, but obviously there's some family things going on that are pretty personal and private. I'll definitely vlog our trip out there and anything fun that we do out there. I'm gonna sign off for the night. David and I are just gonna hang out for the rest of the night, finish up some laundry, get ready for work tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend vlog. I hope you're enjoying the weekend vlogs so far. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you next weekend.